I am going to talk quite briefly about Wagtail AI. Um, uh, we had a, a webinar just on Wagtail AI a couple of months ago, six weeks ago, and um, it was really well attended. So some of you may have, may have been there on that, and uh, in which case you'll you'll know what I'm talking about in the in the next summary. But then I'll show you a bit about what we're working. So Wagtail AI is uh, is a third party app. It's one that we're developing actively at Torchbox, but uh, with the help of the community, it's not. Uh, new default fun functionality in Wagtail. Um, uh, it's something that that you would opt into using by by installing it as as a third party app. Uh, and importantly, we uh, we we're piggybacking on the LLN library, which uh, has been open sourced by Simon Wilson, which uh, is a sort of abstraction layer over other um, large language models. So um, OpenAI's GPT. Uh, API is, is of course one of the options, and uh, for many people will be the default option. But um, it also supports Claude, including the the new Claude three models, and uh, and open source models that that you might be hosting yourselves using Olama or or on your on on other infrastructure. Um, and uh, I'll just show you quickly how Wagtail AI works at the moment. So. At the moment, the main way you interact with it is through a rich text field. So here is uh, some text with some mistakes. Uh, you might your spell your built-in browser spell checker might have noticed that one was wrong, but probably not this because some is spelled correctly here and there's a grammar mistake. So I can select that, choose the wand, and uh, go for AI correction. So that's just making the call to the LLM and uh, with a, with a prompt saying, "Please fix this." There's also the option for generating content. So if I want to write a short post about kombucha, uh, by, there's two default prompts, and I'll choose the second one. And uh, it's written out some text for me, most of which I probably won't use, but could be a, a helpful starter. So just um, those two points themselves are, uh, are a useful start. But what I want to highlight is how easy it is for you to write your own prompts. So if I go now to settings and then prompts, which to leave the page, and I'm going to add a new prompt. Um, and I'm going to ask it to rewrite the following text using very simple language, which could be understood by a five-year-old child. The description is explained in five. five. And then I, here I choose the method, so whether I want to replace content or append after. In this case, I want to replace. So I'll create my prompt and uh, I'll go back to that home page. And if I take some text from this uh, my blog post, just in case you don't have time to read it, or if you have a five-year-old who you want to show it to, then post it here and now use the new prompt, um, which will take that and rewrite it very simply. And uh, and here's the answer. So the ELI five might not be useful for you, but uh, hopefully that shows how quickly you could pull together prompts which are relevant for your own use cases. For example, which might be about um, creating a consistent tone of voice for for your content, um, or uh, rewriting content in British English rather than, or American English. Uh, or anything else that's, that's more specific to you. So there's a lot of flexibility with what is already available in Wagtail AI and really encourage you to, to try out what's there already. But um, there's also a lot coming up soon and the best way to keep on track of that is to follow the Wagtail AI project. Um, uh, you can see the roadmap. Actually, these are both private at the moment, though we're gonna, there's no reason for them to be private, so we'll open these up. Um, so you can see some of the things that we're working on now. There's a split between the two backend projects, so Wagtail AI, but also Wagtail Vector Index. Uh, I won't get too much into that now, but that's a, a vector indexes are, are a sort of new type of database which are used very frequently alongside large language models, and they're a way of representing text, but also can be images and other other sorts of content. Uh, in a way that can, helps you identify similarity. Um, so that actually opens up a lot of interesting use cases in the way, but these two things we're working on side by side. Um, one of these is, 
I can't see the I can't see the spike I wanted to talk about. Oh, here we go. Alt text generation. Um, this is one that we've made some progress on recently. Um, I'm going to show you the quickest way of showing you this is with uh, a loom from my colleague Alex. So he here is adding an image, dragging an image in in the usual way. Chris presses the uh, wand icon, and the title of the image is placed quickly with a beagle dog curled up, lying on a blue blanket. Uh, here's an image which will be familiar to you if you've used Michael Bakery Snowcap Mountain. So uh, pretty simple, that went rather quickly, that's pretty simple functionality, but something that uh, I think is really nicely integrated in a way that will feel hopefully familiar and natural to people who are working with images already in Wagtail. And is something that is easy to switch on uh, if, you've, if you've enabled the Wagtail AI package. So that's a pretty whistle-stop tour of uh, where we are with Wagtail and, and a brief glimpse of what's coming up. With Wagtail AI, I mean, like I said, it's 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 a pretty active area of uh, progress and development at the moment. And uh, as with the, with the email sending package, somewhere where we are really interested in your feedback and opinions and contributions. So I hope you'll firstly try it out. It's really simple to install and start using now. And secondly, let us know how we can make it better. Um, I have seen some questions pop up here. Um, don't know if there's anything. There's a couple, Tom. So we yeah. have got, um, would it be possible to opt into some AI features and not all? That's one question from Trish. Yes. So um, first, firstly, you can, if you didn't want to have any of those prompts that I showed, you can just remove all the prompts and uh, not have them available to your editors. Secondly, on, for example, on the image alt, generation that requires the use of what's referred to as a multimodal model lots of m's in there uh and but you don't have to use a multimodal model you could use um a text generation model and, and not supply a multimodal model so at the moment there's I guess, two main commercial ones the uh gpt and claude and uh the main open source one is called lava double at the start um but yeah absolutely you could choose not to use that and uh, actually, there's a bit of a question that's happening in in the in the group working on at the moment is how flexible we want to make that, and it's a trade off really between flexibility on the one hand and simplicity on the other. But yeah, for sure, right now you can choose which bits you want to use. I think that should answer Stephen's question as well. Can the prompts be tied to different modals? I think that's what you're talking about. Is well, not quite. I mean, the the text prompts can't actually at the moment. So the the expectation is that you would. Uh, the way it's set up at the moment is that you choose a single element to handle the, the text prompt. So that's a level of flexibility that we hadn't anticipated, but uh, be interested to hear from you, Stephen, or anyone else, if there's a, uh, you know, it's a compelling reason for where we should consider that. And is there a way Wagtail AI could be used to decide page themes, create models based on prompts with specific fields? Uh, I'm not sure I can quite imagine that, but if I can, then I think... I think that's that that sounds that sounds sort of within the bounds of what we're working on. Um yeah, actually no, I'm not I'm not gonna answer that completely because I'm I'm not convinced uh near Ash that I've completely understood your question, but I will I will message you in chat and, and uh, see if I can work it out. 